by Flanny Headsmith. Oh. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. By the special grace of God, I joined the Lord's choosing in the year 2011. And I worship at Edo State, Aochi precisely. And I want to thank this great God of choosing for making I and my family choosing. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My testimony goes thus. It happened that on the 29th of December, we boarded a vehicle, I and my sister here, we boarded a vehicle from Aochi to Benin in preparation for our youth choir camp. So along that Benin Expressway, we saw some torch signaling on us that we should stop. Initially, we thought they were uniformed men. But when we approached them, we discovered that they were headsmen. And we were seated close to the window. And the fire that the window, and the first miracle God of choosing did for us was to divert the bullet that was supposed to kill us. And that bullet left us and went to kill a man at the front seat immediately. Oh. And that was how we started declaring that we are choosing. And they asked everybody to move down from the vehicle. So when we got down, they ushered us into the bush. When we got to the bush, they asked everybody to lie down. And they picked five people from those people on the floor. And I was included in those people. And there were four ladies and the driver. So they took us into the thick forest. And they asked me for my occupation. I told them I was a student. They said, each of us, we are going to pay a ransom of 10 million naira. So they asked me to open my phone. When I opened my phone, they discovered that the wallpaper on my phone was a picture of our daddy Gio. Hmm. So when they saw the picture, they looked at my apron and they looked at daddy Gio. They said, is this your father? I said, yes. They said, ah, your father is a big man now. Look at the way he's fat. You, you are paying 20 million naira. <laughs> Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So that was how that night they moved us from that place further into the forest. And they started taking Tramadol because there were nine of them, nine Fulani headsmen. Started taking that drugs and the nine of them raped the other three ladies Whoa. repeatedly right in front of me. So when it got to my turn, they were about pouncing on me and I shouted, the God of my pastor, where are you? And that was how the gang leader came and said, leave that one, that one a pastor Pekin. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Hmm. So that was the second miracle that God performed in my life that day. So that night, they misplaced my phone. They gave me their phone. They said I should call anybody I know. It didn't even occur to me to call my parents. I don't know how the number of the pastor that had pastored us before just came into my head and I just dialed his number on the phone and I called him. I told him the situation and he started praying. While he was praying, I was there also, I was praying. Then they collected the phone from me and they were discussing with him. He didn't even answer them, he kept praying. And I was praying as well. So they turned to me and they said, Pastor Pekin, you the phone say you stop on Abi. You don't know, say pray, I know they enter this forest. I kept decreeing that I'm a choosing. I'm a choosing. I kept shouting. And that was how other people, they asked them to pay their money. I just know that on the 31st, at about 11.30 p.m., I was already sleeping. And they just tapped us and said, it is time to go. Mm. That they had paid our ransom. And I know my parents did not pay any money. I don't just know how it happened. They said we should start going. It has never been heard that full and head men were kind to their victims. But this time around, they even gave us transportation fare after leading us out of the bush that night. I just want to appreciate this great God of the choosing mm. for delivering me from the hands of full and head men. I say this God who has done this for me, may his name alone be highly exalted in Jesus' name. Amen. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choosing people praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So that night.
night when they attacked us, when they told us to come down from the bus, that was the last time I saw this my sister. I was not seeing her again because it was already late. So they now packed us inside bush. By then, I was already declaring I am a choosing. I was shouting on top of my voice, I am a choosing, I am a choosing, I am a choosing. So they now told us to lie down on the floor. Me, I was lying down like this. So when they started beating other people, they started beating them because me, I was with my apron. They started beating other people. By then, I was not touched. They didn't eat because they were using guns, their sticks to eat other people. I was not touched because I kept on shouting, I am a choosing, I am a choosing, I am a choosing. Then one lady now held my apron. Immediately, they saw that lady holding my apron. They removed me from there. That was when one of them took me inside. I was trying to remove my clothes, trying to rape me. I kept on strongly shouting the God of my pastor I may choose him. I don't even know how the threat came that I was able to struggle with a full and man. When he realized that, ah, this guy is not going to submit because I was still shouting. That was how he left. It was, when I was I started going and me, I ran inside the bush. So that was how God of choosing saved me. I escaped. Mm. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I wish I had that the geo heaven at last. All the choosing worldwide. My family heaven at last in Jesus name. Amen. Let's clap unto this God of the choosing. Thank you, Father. Clap unto him and appreciate him. Thank you, God of the choosing.